Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this time we get to talk about one of the great gems of the winter sky, the Pleiades Star Cluster. It's one of the best open clusters and closest open clusters to us, and it's a good naked eye object appearing as a little dipper-shaped group of stars and is one big component of the constellation Taurus. It looks fairly small to the naked eye, but it's actually fairly large. It's angular size on the sky, about three diameters of the full moon across if you count the faintest stars. There's seven bright stars in the cluster. That's why the Pleiades mythologically is called the Seven Sisters, but it contains several hundred stars if you go down to very faint stars. We know that the distance to the Pleiades uh, fairly precisely is 444 light years, uh, thanks to the Hipparchos satellite. With a large telescope in a good sky, if you get away from cities, you can actually see an interesting feature in the Pleiades, and that is some faint bluish reflection nebulosity, dust that is reflecting light from the bright stars toward us. And it's interesting because most uh, reflected light of nebulosity around a star cluster is from the formation of this cluster. Well, astronomers have determined that the Pleiades is moving through a molecular cloud of dust that's unassociated with the formation of the group and reflecting that light toward us. So eventually the cluster stars will depart away from this dust and we won't see that nebulosity anymore as both uh, circle around the center of our galaxy. The Pleiades is dominated by young, hot, blue stars. Many of them are about a hundred million years old. And because tidal forces act on clusters and other objects as they orbit the galactic center, probably in about a quarter of a billion years or so, the cluster will disperse just as the cluster that our sun was born in 4.6 billion years ago did. So you only have about a quarter of a billion years or so to get out there and see the Pleiades, but you can do it with the naked eye. You can get away from city lights and use your binoculars and your Celestron telescope and see one of the great gems of the winter Milky Way, the Pleiades star cluster. I'll see you next time.